The subject of geometric optics is one of the most engaging and inspiring in the field of physics. And if you're going to be teaching introductory optics, which you should, you'll probably want this introductory optical bench. The set contains a familiar bright LED object and four high quality lenses. There are two convenient lens stands with a semi-transparent viewing screen so everyone in the room can see the projected image. It all fits snugly over a standard classroom meter stick, making it easy to set up, easy to make measurements, and it won't take up a bunch of space in your storage cabinets. It also is battery powered, so no messy cables or plugs. The first thing that you're going to want to do is project a real image, and you don't even have to turn off the lights to see it. This image is one half the height of my object, but upside down, giving me a magnification of negative one half. Of course I'm using a convex lens, and the set comes with two different focal lengths. You can even combine these convex lenses to get a new focal distance. For advanced students, you can graph the solutions to the thin lens equation. By the way, I call the thin lens equation the if I do I die formula. It's a helpful mnemonic that makes the lab more fun. Finding the focal distance for a convex lens is straightforward. Simply get a very distant light source and try to focus it. That's it. That's how it's measured. Another quick way to find the focal distance is to look at the point when the background flips from being right side up to upside down. Then the lens is one focal point away from your face. So what does happen when you combine two lenses? Well, we can understand this from ray diagrams. The light comes off the object and is focused and projected into the image at the image distance. Then that image is focused and projected again, and this time, for the first time you may have ever seen it, a real image is upright. Does that happen in real life? Yes. With the concave lens, you cannot focus a real image, so you might not think that it has a focal distance. But if you look at a virtual image through the lens and get it to be one half the height of the object, then that is the focal length. But it is a negative focal length because the image is only formed in the virtual space, that is, the negative distance behind the lens. The set also comes with these two pinhole lens cards, which mount easily on the lens holders. For this experiment, you will have to turn the lights off. The larger pinhole gives brighter light, but less focus. Pinholes always create focused real images. In this case, we see the B card, which is a three pinhole lens. And each of these images is in a different location. Pinhole lenses can project real images, but they do not combine light. So the image they produce is always dim. The application of lens physics is of course the human eye. Our eye has a convex lens that focuses light on our retina, and these real images are always inverted. If you're nearsighted, then your eye is too close, and you'll need concave corrective lenses. But for reading glasses, we'll need convex lenses, which help us focus and enlarge close-up objects. In conclusion, this kit is ideal for teaching lens behavior. It is easy to set up and rapidly generates results. And remember that demo I did with the upright real image? That is only possible with a frosted screen, so there are unique advantages to this setup. <laughs>